Welcome back to my channel folks, I hope everyone's having a great day so far. So, nearly 3 million Americans are urging the Biden administration to pass a fourth round of stimulus payments, and eligible Americans could receive $2,000 stimulus checks once the bill is passed. So yes everybody, Democrats have just released a bill called the Support Act which will send out monthly stimulus checks. And now all we need is for President Biden to approve this bill and sign it into law. What are your thoughts on President Biden folks? Is he doing his job in helping out the American people? Leave a comment down below saying yes or no. Vision of the president. He had said, I want to do what I can in a bipartisan way on infrastructure, but it is not the totality of my vision. My vision is to build back better, not only with physical infrastructure, but with personal infrastructure. I'm paraphrasing now. That wasn't a direct quote. But in regards to your social security payments, just know this. Social Security plays a big role in helping to secure the financial well-being of our seniors. And when non-retirees were asked to what extent they plan to lean on Social Security, only 15% of seniors in 2021 responded that it would not be necessary for Social Security to be increased. Folks, President Biden did campaign on his promise of helping out our seniors. So do you believe that he will keep his promise and increase the Social Security benefits? Leave a comment down below saying yes or no. So given the importance of social security income for current and future retirees, it is very important for the annual cost of living adjustment, or COLA, to be adjusted. Which will end up costing us between four and six trillion dollars. They have now decided that they want to balance the budget on the backs of the elderly and the children and the most vulnerable people in this country. They want to cut social security, Medicare and Medicaid. My view, and we've introduced legislation to do this, is that not only are we going to stop them cutting Social Security, we are going to expand Social Security. Now, if you guys didn't know, in simple terms, COLA is the raise that the more than 65 million Social Security beneficiaries can expect to receive from one year to the next to account for inflation. Social Security's COLA is determined by changes in the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, or CPIW. The CPIW has eight major spending and dozens upon dozens of subcategories, each of which has their own respective weighing. So, only a narrow time frame is taken into account when calculating Social Security's COLA, and only the CPIW readings from the third quarter, which is from July through September. The American people have seen the very rich getting richer and government developing policies which allow them to pay, in some cases, not a nickel in federal income. They've seen corporations make huge profits. In some cases, they're not paying a nickel in taxes. And what this legislation says, among many, many other things. Are used to determine the following year's race, while the other nine months can be helpful in identifying trends. Folks, the Social Security COLA is simply the average CPIW reading in the third quarter of the year, compared to the average CPIW reading in the third quarter of the previous year. So if the average CPIW, which is Consumer Price Index, rises in the current year, Social Security beneficiaries will receive a higher payout in the following year. Folks, I want to see President Biden help out our seniors and increase the Social Security benefits. I believe that it is his job to do so. Do you agree? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Earlier today, I want to say a word about the progress we're making on the Build Back Better agenda here at home. I just got off the telephone with the leaders in the House. Today, the House of Representatives taken significant step toward making. Now, in regards to the stimulus payments, just know this. A bill called the ABC Act, or Automatic Boost to Communities Act, is being sponsored by many Democrats, specifically Rashida Tlaib and Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal. Both of these congresswomen originally introduced a policy proposal that drew a great deal of public attention with the idea of having the U.S. Treasury mint over mint two one trillion dollar platinum coins to fund stimulus payments. So Rashida Tlaib actually told Forbes that it is obvious that the federal government, even members of Congress, are completely disconnected with the reality of the majority of American people. Remember folks, Rashida Tlaib does want to send out more monthly stimulus checks. She also added, we are in a global crisis and people cannot work too, people cannot wait two weeks or four months, as the IRS says in some cases, for the stimulus payments. Folks, just know this, if approved, the ABC Act would provide $2,000 per month for each eligible individual during the payment period, and $1,000 per month to each eligible individual for a year after the payment period ends. 
the payments will be made via direct deposit if the treasury has the individual's banking information on file, and unless the individual will prefer to have that payment made on a boost card. The goal of this bill is to guarantee no one is left behind. As written, the bill will provide $2,000 monthly payments to eligible individuals, including U.S. citizens and residents. Eligible individuals, for example, a, t a couple with two children, will receive four payments of $2,000 each, for a total of $8,000 during the payment period. So this means, folks, that if you do qualify, you can receive an $8,000 stimulus check. Do you approve of this bill called the ABC Act, everybody? Leave me your thoughts in the comments below. And also, if you have any more questions, then don't forget to leave, then don't forget to leave them in the comments below. I rise in support of this rule. This rule allows the Congress of the United States to do the people's business in two critical areas, actually three. Uh, number one, it provides for us to receive from the Senate the budget and to do what the Republicans did on their tax bill, act on a budget reconciliation bill. You did that. You, of course, didn't pay for it. Uh, we're going to pay for this. Secondly, this rule allows us to proceed on a piece of legislation which seeks to make sure that the Voting Rights Act, protecting the most important asset a citizen has, and that is their right to vote. Or as our speaker has said, uh, the voice of those uh, not empowered. That's not exactly what it was, Madam Speaker, but uh, two of these items are critical. And when we talk about saving lives, the Reconciliation Bill and the budget, the Build Back Better Act, is going to save lives and enrich the quality of lives of our people. And thirdly, this rule will allow us to proceed to adopt the bipartisan 69 senators voting for it. Infrastructure bill. It is not a perfect bill. It is not our bill. And it is limited in, in some respects in terms of its addressing one of our most important challenges and, and enemies, and that's climate change. It nevertheless is a very, very substantial investment in America, its growth, its people, and jobs. Vote for this rule. It's a good bill for the people.